So we will be looking at lesson number two from chapter one of Principles of Marketing, which is needs, wants, and demand. If you remember my first session uh, where I broke down the definition of marketing, I said that the organization, uh, they try to solve the problems of the customers. And the problems are in the form of these three things, needs, wants, and demand. So the purpose of this particular session is that we are going to look and understand what are these three topics or concepts. So let's have a look. The first concept is a need. What is a need? Let's have a look. State of felt deprivation. What does that mean? To some people in some countries, this statement find a little bit difficult. So let's have a look at the second um, point on my slide here. It is the basic requirement of your daily life, such as food, shelter, love, etc. So when you're hungry, you need a food. You do not think about a specific brand in your mind. The only thing which you want is a food. In developing countries such as India and other countries, most of the marketers are still trying to satisfy the needs of the customers. Uh, the reason? Well, a lot of people are still living uh, below the poverty line, sadly. And uh, when you are living below the poverty line, the first thing comes into your mind is that I just want to eat food because I'm hungry. Now, when need is reshaped by knowledge and culture, that is called a want. What does that mean? So, let's say you are hungry and you live in the U.S. You said, well, I'm hungry and I want to eat a burger or maybe a pizza or maybe a dosa in India or maybe a roti in India and Pakistan in this region or maybe noodles in China. So, your knowledge and your culture is telling you what to eat. Same thing goes for shelter, same thing goes for love. Because your knowledge and your culture, where you are living, what the social norms are telling you, you make a decision and you want a burger or you want a pizza. Again, there's no brand here, it's just a simple burger and a simple pizza. Now, a demand is where the knowledge culture and buying power comes into play. Now, this is a very important point. Now, when you do think about, hey, I have this much money in my pocket, I want to eat a burger. Am I going to eat a McDonald's burger or am I going to eat a TGIF burger or maybe a steakhouse burger or maybe I'm going to eat a steak from Gordon Ramsay restaurant? Now, if you do talk about eating a dosa in India, are you going to eat it outside a college from a eating you know like small carts over there or are you going to go to a flashy restaurant and eat it over there so that's something which comes down to your buying power your knowledge and your culture now that is called the demand and this is where the brands are established at this very level because brands they try to satisfy customers um, when customers they make decision based on their knowledge culture and buying power so let's have a very small question before I end the session what is this is it a want or is it a demand to most of us in most of our countries whoever is listening to me today well this is our dream car uh, and I guess all of us we agree this is what is it yep you're right it is a demand well at least it is a demand to me but it is a demand 